Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and this is part three of creating this landing gear. And this is the second section of doing some of the modeling. Now, if you want to get full access, please jump over to Gumroad or my Patreon. If not, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button just to keep up to date. From here, let's jump into this section and do some work on this arm. What I'm actually gonna do is let's delete a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm gonna press two to go into edge select, select this and select this edge, delete vertices. So now we've just got a plane. Excelente. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of carve in some details. So maybe make some holes. So let's start off with, I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna press I to do an inset. Maybe not, let's not do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this point here. I'm gonna go GG and let's go GG. Probably this one here, let's go GG and GG. So it moves along the normals. And then from here, I'm gonna press GG. Now what we can do is I can select these points and let's do I to do an inset like so. Probably this one here, I to do an inset and we'll select these. I to do an inset. Let's now select all these faces in here, delete faces. And I probably should have aligned that up. So let's, let's undo all that. And let's just make life a little bit easier. I'm just gonna go into edge select, select this edge and, and this edge, control B to do a bevel. There we go. Let's now grab this face, this face and this face. I to do an inset. Let's go to about, um, we got this problem over here where this line here was too close to this one. So let's go back a little bit. I'm gonna select this edge and just go GG and move it back up a bit. Let's go through and select all them, all them and all them. Come on, control B, press I to do an inset. So we've got something like that, delete faces. And we've got this cool effect, but I know it doesn't make sense. So let's select everything again. Let's go G to the X and we'll line this up. E to extrude. So it's all lined up like so. All right. So maybe what we'll do is let's just select these internal corners. Like so, whoops. And just select all them. Have I gotten them all? I think I've missed some. That one, that one, and that one. And that one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then what I can do is I can do control B. And now we've got this effect, like as if it's been etched out. Oh, we've got a problem down here. What's happened here? So we've gone a little bit too far. So let's go control Z, control B. And that's as far as we're gonna go. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Maybe for this section here, we grab here and I'm gonna extrude. Let's then select this edge and this edge, control B to do a bevel. Is that too big? I believe that's too big. So let's undo that. Let's maybe go into edge mode. Oops, control Z, come on, stop. Select that, control B, just to bevel that. There we go. And then we can select this face in here. E to extrude. And we wanna round off the corners. So let's select these two, control B, and then middle mouse something like that. And now what that allows us to do is G. Yep. We can maybe select this section here, G, Z, Z, because you remember that we're on the normals. Probably to the center. Let's go C and deselect all these vertices. And let's go G, Z, Z and bring it back. There we go. And so now you can see that we've got a really big pivot of point around there. I'm just gonna delete that one. And what we can do is I want this piston to go over to that side. 
I can go mirror modifier, so add modifier, mirror modifier. However, it's sitting directly on top because the origin's there. However, if I go mirror object and select this piece, we know that that's now lined up. So this object is being mirrored off this object. While we're here on this one, let's go add a small little bevel, add some angles, anything greater than seeing how big it's going to be. No, it's just going to be a jerk. The reason why this isn't working properly is because our there's some angles in here that are just far too small that it's just not going to work. So we might come in and we'll do that manually. So I'm just going to get rid of that bevel. From here, I actually really like this piece here. So I'm going to go tab into edit mode. Let's select this one. Delete vertices. Let's maybe go into wireframe mode. C, select all that. Shift D, bring it up. Whoops. Come back up into medium point and we will just kind of have it sitting in there like so. Let's maybe scale that back down. Nice. Um, did we separate this piece? Control L, nope. So it's all still one piece. So what we need to do is come into this inside section. Let's select this one and this one. Press V to rip. And now I can press this and this is our individual piece, which is what we want. Let's press one to go into edit mode. C for selection and in the middle mouse button, I'm going to deselect all that, delete vertices. And then from here, I can alt left click that edge, shift alt left click that edge, E to extrude on the Z axis. And let's go scale on the Y axis, just so it kind of sits like that. And then we can come in here and let's just select this edge and this edge face face. And if we kind of look at that, we can see that it'll be sitting to whatever platform is up there. Um, while we're here, let's maybe put some bolts in here. What I can do is I can just select this edge in here. Oops, let's grab all that edge. Shift D. I'm just going to press F to create a face. Let's go G to the X. E to extrude all the way through, G to the X, something like that. Um, what we'll do is we'll just put a small bevel in there just to make that a little bit sharper. Just two, there we go. And to me, that looks very nice. So the next part here is this piston. So what we might do is do what we just did. I'm going to alt left click on there. Let's go, where are we? Shift D to duplicate that. G to the X. And I'm just going to put it about there. Press F to create a face. Whoops, I didn't select everything. So alt left, oops, alt left click, shift, alt click, shift D to duplicate. Let's go G to the X. I'm going to create a face. Let's now pull that all the way through. G to the X. Keep going, keep going, keep going to about here. Let's select both of these edges. Control B. And now we've got this pin that sits in there. I don't like the fact that the pin's sitting like that. It seems like it's not sitting in the correct place. So what I do is I do Control R. Well, actually, we can do Control R and put it in the center there. With that, I can do control B and that'll bevel to the edges and we can see that the pin's not in line with each other. I mean, not in line. Let's just go G to the X, roughly guesstimate that, select this and this, scale. Let's do another control R, control B to do a bevel in like so. Let's alt left click to get that edge, Alt shift, alt left click to get this edge. E to extrude. Now I only want it to go on the Y axis and the Z axis. So what I can do is I can press scale and you can see that it scales on all axes. I can press scale and then shift X 
and then it'll only go on the Y and the Z. So if I do something like that, and I mean, no one's going to be really looking in here, but you never know. <laughs> and we'll do control B, put a small little bevel in there. And there we go. So it looks like a pin. I mean, we could even put a bolt in there or a circlip, if you know those technical terms. Um, but to me, that looks quite nice. And we'll probably do the same for this bit in here. I reckon we actually might do the pin approach. So let's go like this. I'm going to select our circle. So we've already got, actually, I want to select one of these circles in here. Oh, actually, no, that's fine. What I'm going to do is select all this, control L. Let's do a shift D to rotate. I mean, shift D to duplicate, then press R to rotate 180 degrees. Now it's facing the other way. G, Z, Z, because remember, we're still following the normals. And I'm going to plop that like so. Then from here, I can go control L, delete that bit. And so now we've got this section in here. From here, let's go into vertice mode, Z wireframe. And then I'm just going to select that. I'm going to select that. We've got all that scale on the X axis. Did I miss something? I must have missed some vertices. Did I? C, C. Maybe what we'll do is scale off the 3D cursor, scale to the X. Come on, there we go. And then let's grab these outer loops. Scale on the X. There we go. And then we've got the same thing that we have upstairs. Nice. Um, we should probably make this curve the same as we did here. So let's do the exact same thing. I'm going to alt left click here, shift alt left click there, delete vertices. Um, let's maybe what we'll do is let's just grab probably here and what should we do? Maybe we'll go GG, put that one there. GG, move that one up. So we've got this section. I might do a control B in here. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I to do an inset. And then we can delete those vert. Whoops, sorry. We can delete those faces into here. Control L. Whoops, sorry. Select all. And where are we? Let's go E to extrude. Fine. E to extrude to about here-ish. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. And then once again, let's come in and select all this section in the middle. There we go, there we go, there we go. And last one's in there. We can do control B to do a bevel. Let's go give it a little few extra edges. This seems to be our peer, sorry, this seems to be our pinch point. So let's go control Z, control B again. There we go. How's that looking? Oof. That's looking good. We still got to work on this bottom bit. That's fine. That's fine. This bit up here. That's fine. We didn't consider this bit. So maybe what we'll do is just go G. Whoops. Put that maybe in here. Where are we doing? Medium point. So I think maybe we'll just throw it in there, put another pin. Yep. And then there'll be a little piece that sits there. So what we might say is we might stop here for the video. Um, and we will continue on with the next section 
or with more modeling in the next section. So we'll work on this little bit and the foot and that'll finish off that video. Then we'll go probably about texturing and we'll try and do it all procedural so we don't have to worry about stuff. And then from there, we will go into rigging this. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to follow along with the project, hit that notification button. And until next time.